Bad ninja in the dad. Yo. Yeah. Check, check. One, two, three, four. God damn it. Oh, hey. Bad boy. You know how we crazy. <laughs> I was, well, not, well, was the only player to not take the field in that World Cup. So out of the, what, did we have 23 players or 21? I can't remember how many. But everybody else took the field at some point, apart from me. Now, it was unfortunate because leading up to that competition, I was the starting goalkeeper. Every game, all, all, all leading up. We went to Germany, we went to South America, we went to Ecuador. We went, I was the starting goalkeeper. And about six, five months before the competition, I had this massive pain in my back that doctors cannot explain to me up to this day. I was almost dropped out of the squad because I was in into a point where I couldn't even walk at times. Like the pain was so excruciating. I tried changing the bed, they did, a, they did all the scans and everything, and nothing was helping the pain. And about Less than a month before the competition, boom, the pain just left one day and never came back. Never came back in my life. In this in, in this lifetime, I've never had a back pain since. Um, needless to say, at that time, I was already out of the team, trying to force my way back in. So, the third game we played was against Brazil. So, Simonis came to my room the night before and he was like, you know what, uh, prepare yourself, you'll play tomorrow. If you don't play from the start, you'll play from, from the half. And I was happy with that. And we got a red card, I think, early in that game. And obviously, because of that, he couldn't make the substitution, blah, blah, blah. Didn't play. I was pissed off. And I will say this again for the people in the back. I'll say this again. That was the only time for me that I think I disrespected or I did something disrespected to, or disrespectful towards a coach or coaching staff. Which was usually after every game, play or you didn't play, you had to take your weight. So before the game and after the game, you had to take your weight. I was pissed off because I didn't play, I didn't play in the World Cup. And time for the weight, the assistant coach came to take weight. I was like, no, I'm not taking the weight. He's like, no, I was like, no. So he spoke to Simonis in, 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 in Portuguese, blah, blah, blah. Simonis came, he's like, you taking your weight? Yeah, and I was like, no. He said, okay. Left the, the camp, blah, blah, blah. About a month after, Simo is in charge of the national 20 team and he picks every single player from the squad except me so i explained to my mom blah 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 this blah, blah 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 she's like you need to go and apologize to him so it's a post training session i went to the Crawford stadium training field i was like coach listen and i was extremely disrespectful blah 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 um i want to apologize or whatnot and he said to me he's like I understand, he said, but disappointment is not only part of football, it's part of life. And you have to learn to deal with disappointment in a better way. You can't disrespect people. He's like, I'm not selecting it for the national or 20 team. That is the only level of football in this country that, that I have not played. So played under, under 17, under 15, under 17. Didn't play under 20s. Played under 23s for probably one game. I think I made my debut for the for the senior men's national team before I played the Olympic competition. And we shook hands. We left as friends. Yeah. And about less than two years after, Trinidad and Tobago versus Jamaica in um, Kingston, in the, in, the, in the office, they call it. Who is the coach? René Simois of Jamaica. I just flew back in from, was I in Belgium at that point? I can't remember, Belgium or, or, or Hungary. Flew back in to play the game. And walking out in the field to warm up, who I see, René Simois. And he is in tears and I'm in tears. I hug him, he hugs me, no words exchanged. None, because what's there to be said? He said, after the game, I think we tied 2-2. Two, two. I think we tied 2-2. Two, yeah. Two. yeah. After the game, he says, I didn't see that for the under 20s because you have way more potential. You shouldn't even be playing under 20s. You should be playing at a higher level. And I knew this, this is something that you could do. I say that no one has done goosebumps. He said, he, said, he said that was not, that was never your level. Your level was always something I had to learn. And sometimes we think as I mean you're, you're a player and you're thinking sometimes too short term and too. 
too naive because when, like now, okay, now I'm what, 30, I don't even know, 30, 100, I don't even know. But I still think that when my mom, for example, who's older than me, really, gives, tells me certain things, certain pieces of advice, I'm so much more inclined to take that information now because the people that go before us go through the exact same experiences. And we sit back as young adults thinking, nah, they don't know what they're talking about. They know exactly what they're talking about. But we are the ones that have to step beside ourselves to really take the information. So at that time, I was too young and naive. I was like, yeah, yeah I want to play the World Cup. I didn't play the World Cup. Okay. Had I played in the World Cup, I may not have played so many times in Toronto Tobago National Senior Team. I may not have had the passion, the commitment, the drive. Because for players that have played in that World Cup, who were probably more talented than me in terms of their position, where are they now? The pinnacle for them was the World Cup. Oh, I played in the World Cup. Okay. But for me, the drive, the desire that I developed after not playing in that, that, I probably still have it in me right now to probably go back to the national team to play. Mm. You know, so uh, it, it, that is what Simo is left with me. And I was really grateful and thankful for that situation. Because had the chief stayed, it might have probably played out differently. You know, and I may have been like some of the other guys who played on the other 17 team and and then lost the zeal and the passion because for them, oh yeah, I played in a world cup, so that was the pinnacle for them. People like it, and them all them. People like it, all the cool on in the bar. People like it.